Allah said, Allah by our Lord, who is the one who accepts all our deeds. That is the essence and the main purpose of this worship. This is a great joy after uh, ending Ramadan that we have this uh, opportunity now to, you know, to express some degree of joy, which, you know, in each religion, you need a forum or a occasion where people are uh, able to express their joy and celebration. So Islam, it does facilitate this for the Muslim. Next, the Brixton brothers are on the ball. And in Luton, there is great excitement. Eid this year is extra special. The Eid prayers are over. In Brixton, there are celebrations at the mosque and a football tournament has been arranged. Unfortunately, it did rain after the Eid prayer um, and during the Eid prayer as well, actually. We hoped it wouldn't rain, but it did, it did. But it doesn't matter because there were actually narrations at the time of the Prophet when he did pray and used to prostrate his forehead on the ground, on the watery ground, and the water from his forehead dribbled down his face into his beard. So for us, it's the Sunnah, so Alhamdulillah, and it was also the Qadr of Allah, it was predestined by Allah. So it's not a problem. The way that our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he used to pray, the Eid prayer, was he would go to a huge plain out in the open. It wouldn't be in the regular mosque, and everybody would come there. You know, the young, the old, the male, the female, the children, they would gather together and make this congregational Eid prayer. Here in England, it's a bit different. We have to make our Eid prayers in the mosques or halls that we hire out um, to accommodate the number of, of, of people. The reason being is sometimes it's difficult to get a whole big plane like, like this park, for example. And also, in addition to that, is the weather. <laughs> After the Eid, we find that in a the masjid here, our, uh, what we'll do normally, we'll have like, you know, some type of gathering throughout the day. So we have different, different things that is done. And we try to generally target each group, the children, the brothers, and also the, uh, the women. So each person can, you know, at least, you know, participate in something throughout the day of Eid. Just because it's a day of celebration, just because it's a day that Allah has le uh, legitimized for us to celebrate, it doesn't mean that we have to forget our responsibilities. We still have a responsibility to pray five times a day, an obligation to pray five times a day. So some of these things, the obligations still remain. And the question is, name five books of hadith outside Bukhari, Muslim, Abu Dawood, Tirmidhi, Ibn Majah, Nasahi, and Muatta. We're doing the uh, Quranic and uh, Islamic, genuine Islamic uh, activities, quiz. And uh, here we see basically the mature brothers, also the younger brothers, all participating in the quiz. And uh, it's organized to four groups. And the winning team at the moment is Group B. And that's because they have one brother that's actually been abroad to Jordan. And also, you have Yaqib ibn Ibn Fuzayma from those two, and you have others. Usually, once uh, we finished at the mosque, uh, after the Eid prayers, uh, we would tend to walk home. And the Sunnah is that we would walk in a different way that we came. And uh, I think some of the hikmah, some of the understanding behind this is that you meet and greet different people from the people that you came the, uh, when you went to the mosque. So that's some of it. And uh, when you come back, then you'd give the greetings to your family, uh, so to your children, to your parents, to your wife. Yasmin, Quram, Armani and Rakea celebrate at Quram's parents' house. There are presents to be opened and special food to be eaten. There's a new member of the family. Baby was born yesterday morning at 4.40 in the morning. So that was the day before Eid. So that was nice. Gave us a day to relax before Eid. 